I'm Evan Sohn Tactical, and today we can take a look at the Arthurian Airsoft Excalibur Recon. The Arthurian Airsoft Recon is built from full metal, has safe, semi and full auto firing modes, adjustable flip up front and rear iron sights, a single point sling plate at the rear of the body, has a 15 metal tooth piston, reinforced tappet plate and 8mm bearings, comes with a 450 round high capacity magazine, has a full length top rail and side and bottom railed handguard, a 14mm counterclockwise attached suppressor and an adjustable hop unit. So, the Arthurian's Airsoft Excalibur Recon, I think this is an awesome little gun. Brilliant for those wanting that kind of super cool CQB look. We of course have the suppressor at the end, we've got lots of rails, we've got adjustable stock. So internally, you're looking at a version 2 gearbox with an upgraded tappet plate, 8mm bearings and a 15 metal toothed piston, which makes the hard working bits in here more reliable and durable, which is always good. Out of the box they shoot about 330 FPS, they will come with a chrono sheet telling you exactly what your individual gun shoots at. And they are all really quite nice, you get good range, you get good accuracy with them. So let's start this one, start at the back. So we've got our stock pad here, bit of rub rise, nice texture. The stock which is adjustable to multiple positions as you can see. And if you want to access the battery compartment inside the stock, we simply push the buttons here on the side and off back comes the back plate. Then pull out this cover plate and in there you can see the battery storage. Nice and simple, slide in your batteries, you've got plenty of space for single sticks or if you want to put crane sticks, whatever you wish to put in there. Nice, spacious, easily fit in. There you go. Now further forward on the stock we have not only our single point sling loop that you can see here, that you can attach sling on either side, but we also have this castle nut and this hides the quick change spring system. Undo the castle nut, push it forward, turn it 45 degrees and then you pull the stock off and you get access to this knurled nut, or bolt I should say. And what you do is just undo it and the spring will come out, put in a new spring, close it back up and you're good to go. This makes changing your spring super quick, super easy, and means you don't have to take apart the entire gearbox. Which, for those of us that have had to do that to change the spring, you know it's a bit of a hassle. We then further forward, once I've just done the nut up, there we go. We then further forward have the fake forward assist. We have our bolt catch, or charging handle. Pull it all the way back, opens up the dust cover, locks the bolt back, then you can get in here for the hop unit, have a nice bit of adjustment, set it to the, how you want. Then you press this button on the left side and forward it comes. Lovely. Now also what we have on the right hand side is our magazine release. Now there it does come with a 450 round high cap magazine. Goes in nice and easily. Comes out super easy as well. Left hand side we have the fire select to a safe semi and full auto and the bolt release button. Now at the rear here we have our flip up rear sight which is adjustable for the vertical and the horizontal and we have our flip up front sight so you get some nice easily hideable away sights if need be. And then when you're ready for action just pop them up aim down. Now running along the top we have our top rails here, excellent for adding sights and other items too. We also have on the handguard three other sets of rails on the sides and underneath so you can attach four grips and four grips torches lasers a grenade launcher if you feel like it i highly recommend a grenade launcher then further forward we have the suppressor now this can come off it is attached with a 14 millimeter counterclockwise barrel counterclockwise thread i should say and it hides the full length of the barrel which does come all the way to the end of the suppressor and it gives it a really kind of cool special forces sneaky beaky look so it runs off 7.4 lipo shall we have a listen to what it's like so this is it on single nice snappy good trigger response considering the price range for these is 250 pounds you get a really nice trigger response and then when we go to full auto you get a really nice rate of fire as you can see really good quality there and that of course combined with the full metal adjustable stock quick change spring system you do get a really nice package at a really good price so 
That is it for the Arthurian Airsoft Recon. I do hope you've enjoyed and thanks for watching.